as I was watching the debate last night, I thought to myself, wow, Mike Pence is a lot like the Antichrist because the way he talks, the way you feel like he's a good person, the way you feel like he cares about people, the way that um, he is for the destruction of the planet while he's so sweet about it. So I'm sure that a lot of people are going, okay, this is silly. You're a religious nut who's an atheist, blah, 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 blah. And what I would tell them is, here is what the Christ is. Um, so what, what is the Christ? You know, like Jesus is the Christ, right? But Jesus didn't save you yet. Yes, he did. Trust me, I, I promise he asked me into his heart. No. In, 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 like, in like actual like early Christian philosophy, Jesus did not save you. Because according to, okay, so in the early Christian church, everyone was Jewish. And they were all Pharisaic Jews. Wait, I, I, I hate the Pharisees in the Bible. The Pharisees are the most judgmental people. They're the religious nuts that show off. I'm against the Pharisees. Jesus is against the Pharisees. Jesus was a Pharisee. Um, the Pharisees believed in a Messiah. They believed that um, one day a Messiah would come and he, they would lead the Jewish people to revolt against the Romans and they would bring a sword, and they would, uh, which means they would fight them and they would kill them and they would win. And that the Jewish people would no longer be persecuted because um, at the time that the idea of a Messiah or a Christ was developed, um, the Jew Jewish people were being persecuted by the Seleucids who were the descendants of Alexander the Great and they were the people that eventually became the Romans. So um, in, in, the, in Jewish philosophy, um, an idea developed during this persecution. Um, you can read about it in Maccabees, which is a book in... Um, in, um, in the Catholic Bible. Um, in Maccabees, it talks about the persecution of the Jews by the Seleucids. And, um, and, and, during, and I'm pretty sure that during that period is when this idea of a Messiah developed and the Messiah was going to be uh, um, a, a fighter. Heaven was going to be on earth. So um, the Messiah was going to rise up. They were going to conquer. It was going to be like David, right? Like um, David's going to rise up and be our king and... Um, and then we're going to rule and we're going to not be ruled anymore. Well, what actually happened is Jesus came and then everyone was ready to fight. And then Jesus was like, no, we're going to be peaceful. And we're going to be like extreme pacifists, like really extreme. So we're not going to fight at all. And we're going to be the most peaceful people ever. And so all these, so a lot of the Jewish people were like, okay, this guy's not the Messiah. Clearly he's not the Messiah because he doesn't even want to fight. And that's what the Messiah does. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then, and then this whole philosophy developed about Jesus is coming back. And, um, Jesus came to earth. He wanted to be the Messiah, but everyone rejected him. The Jewish people rejected him and they didn't accept Jesus. And because of that, Jesus is gone, but Jesus is going to come back to earth and rule on earth again. And so, um, in the early church, there was never a metaphysical heaven concept. Heaven wasn't, um, in a different plane of existence. Heaven wasn't in a different dimension. Um, heaven wasn't, um, in outer space. Um, in, in the early Christians mindset, they were all, because they were all Jewish, um, the Messiah was going to come to earth and rule over earth and create peace on earth. The Messiah was going to kind of be like, um, the ideal ruler. Cause everyone kind of, um, had, had admiration for David and Solomon. So everyone's like, he's going to be like David, you know, but he, really he was going to be from the tribe of Judah. He was going to be descended from David. So, um, that brings me to Mike Pence, which is, um, why he is an antichrist. Well, Mike Pence is against his people's survival because what does the Christ do? The Christ saves you. The Christ comes to, comes to earth and rules over the planet in a way that we all have peace and prosperity together. That's, that, that's what the Christ is supposed to do based on early Christian philosophy, I promise. Like, I know that you go, well, that's not true. I, I know exactly what Christian philosophy is. 2,000 years later, I, I, I know what Christians believe. And it's like, okay, congratulations. I'm, I was obsessed with the early Christian church. All I cared about was the early Christian church. And um, what I know about the early Christian church is they believed in a physical heaven, which was on earth. The Messiah was going to come to earth and they were going to rule over earth and, and earth was going to be happy. Like every, like there was, everything was going to be great. And um, it wasn't until later that this whole idea of like this perfect heaven um, developed 
um, which a lot of that um, came from coupling Greek philosophy with, um, with, with Jewish philosophy and then together their philosophy became what it is, like what, what is now, which, because in Jewish philosophy they had shale, they didn't even have heaven and hell, hell at all. So this whole notion that someone would, um, that a Messiah would come and, and bring everyone to shale, that wouldn't have crossed a Jewish person's mind. So to Jesus um, and, and to all Jesus' followers, they wouldn't have really understood this idea of heaven, but heaven at that point was this idea, uh, but, but, well, at that point it was that the Messiah was gonna create heaven on earth, which is like a perfect society with um, the Messiah as the ruler. All right, so the real question is, is Donald Trump kind of an antichrist? Well, he's against our survival, right? He's, he's against our, um, everyone's, like I'm talking about all people's ability to survive on earth. So that includes the Jewish people. So. Um, yeah, I mean, that, I would say he's an antichrist. Um, I uh, am like the only person that's actually trying to be a Christ, who's, who's trying to like uh, sacrifice myself and sacrifice my own life and sacrifice my happiness so that um, our society can survive. And I don't think people understand that. They're like, no, you're Satan, trust me. It's like, all right, dude, well, if I'm Satan, then Jesus is cloning me over and over again because my people are cl very clearly cloning me on purpose. So the same people behind Jesus are the same people behind Satan. So you can say that I'm, I'm something other than what I am, but what I am is like the most honest person ever because I've been so brainwashed. I mean, you have no idea how brainwashed I am to tell the truth.